Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedom and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country. In the courtrooms of America, Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedom. For now, a federal lawsuit against Christian pastor Scott Lively will go forward. This lawsuit is claiming that he violated international law because of his speech in a foreign country regarding homosexuality. I am Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council. Joining me is Matt Barber, vice president of Liberty Council Action. Matt, uh, we have mentioned before in Faith and Freedom that we represent Reverend Scott Lively, a pastor in Massachusetts. In this case, arises out of several years ago where he went to Uganda to speak on the issues of abortion and homosexuality. And as a result, uh, sometime later, he was sued in federal court in Massachusetts by the Center for Constitutional uh, Freedom or Rights out of um, New York. And uh, that entity is alleging that he has committed crimes against humanity uh, because of his speech yeah. respecting homosexuality. And therefore, they have filed suit against him Liberty Council is representing Scott Lively. Yeah, it, <clears throat> uh, there's, I mean, this, this, the case is absolutely absurd. It's almost comical. It's laughable, really. And this organization, Smug, uh, that's a rinky dink uh, organization there that and, has and backing. Smug stands for Sexual Minorities of Uganda. You know, We're you, not yeah. making this up. The actual, an acronym, and that's how they actually refer to themselves as Smug. Yeah. And they're they're being funded. And this lawsuit is being funded by uh, uh, folks associated with George Soros, and there's and the you know there are powerful entities behind this trying to make an example of Scott Lively and trying to intimidate pastors, uh, foreign and domestic, from speaking uh, about the sins uh, associated with with the homosexual lifestyle and other sexual sins. Well, we're obviously uh, disappointed, but ultimately, I believe that this this case will go down in flames. This is a bump in the road. It's a disappointment that this judge uh, failed to recognize the Supreme Court's uh, decision in Kiobel v. Royal Dutch Petroleum, which eliminated uh, alien tort statute claims for events that allegedly occurred on, on f foreign soil. So it's uh, it were a little bit perplexing as to, to why he failed to dismiss the case. But for whatever reason, the case will move forward ultimately, I think, again, uh, to to uh, go down in flames. Well, this judge actually wrote this, a widespread systematic persecution of LGBTI, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex uh, people, constitutes a crime against humanity that unquestionably violates international norms. That's according to Judge Michael uh, Ponzer. That is absurd. Uh, where does that come from in any law? Uh, when you look at the law of Uganda, for example, if, if Smug were to bring that lawsuit in Uganda, there is no law there that they would be able to uh, come after Scott Lively um, because Uganda actually does criminalize homosexuality. It's not legal to engage in homosexual activity. So he would lose or they would lose in Uganda. If they brought this lawsuit in the United States, even if all the allegations against Scott Lively were true, which they're not, but even if they were true, all he did was speak, so he would be protected by the First Amendment. Yeah. So they obviously have no claim in Uganda, and they have no claim in the United States, so what they did is they used what's called the Alien Tort Statute. We'll talk about that in a moment. And they're alleging this nondescript, vague crimes against humanity. Now, when you think of crimes against humanity, you normally think of genocide, you know, where somebody just wipes out a whole entire community or tens of thousands or even millions of individuals. That's not what Scott yeah. Lively did. Scott Lively spoke about his biblical and moral views on homosexuality. How can that be a crime against humanity? Yeah. Even, you know, where in international law is that a crime against humanity? That's just absurd. Well, and they hang their hat, you know, they, they've uh, euphemistically and, and, and uh, using propaganda have labeled this the kill the gay, kill the uh, uh, gays bill or something like that. Uh, this which, was in Uganda. In, in Uganda, which <clears throat> the original bill had a provision for uh, the death penalty for men who, homosexual men 
who sexually assault boys. So it was for pedophilia. Yeah, it was for pe- not for it, for it was for yeah. pedophilia. It was for uh, forcible rape. But, but forcible rape of a man on a boy, and that was the that was the uh, the death penalty aspect of it. Well, even that was removed. And Scott Lively, all along, is on record and was on record on, on Ugandan soil and speaking out against any uh, death penalty provision yeah. associated with this bill. So th- so th- the judge makes this blanket assertion. Typically, as you know, judges and lawyers need to have evidence to support things. There's zero evidence whatsoever. There's zero evidence. So that where Scott we Lively are, has done anything. So where we are was they filed this lawsuit, <clears throat> and we uh, prepared a more than a hundred-page memo asking for this case to be dismissed. That there's no basis in law or fact for this. The judge did not dismiss it. Uh, we may uh, pursue an appeal, or alternatively, this case will go into discovery and eventually. Uh, I have no question that it ultimately be overturned if, in fact, this is the ruling uh, at a higher court and certainly at the United States Supreme Court. Why? Because the Supreme Court just a few months ago issued a decision called Kiobel, and Kiobel dealt with using the alien tort statute. The alien tort uh, statute goes back to the early time of this country, and basically it's designed to allow a foreigner who comes here to the United States and is injured on United States soil to be able to sue uh, in the United States with regards to the injury that they had here, which makes sense. Uh, but some courts over the years have allowed uh, these international uh, squabblings going back and forth. And a case went to the United States Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court said, no, you can't use the uh, Alien Tort Act that way, and basically nixed uh, this. And as a result of that, there's been 12 lawsuits that have so far been dismissed in light of the Supreme Court decision. Twelve different lawsuits for a variety of reasons raising the alien tort statute saying that this is no longer a viable avenue. The only one that has not yet been dismissed, the judge certified that he was unsure about his decision and certified it to an appeal. This is the only decision so far uh, that has uh, not been dismissed and uh, we're now asking the judge to certify this for an appeal because we believe that on the merits, we ultimately have a good claim. And at the end of the day, we'll ultimately win. But here's where I think the problem is. This case presents a huge chilling factor to anyone, not just on homosexuality, that travels abroad, that speaks on issues, homosexuality or anything else. What they're trying to do is shut you down whenever you go off foreign soil, where they can't use the foreign country's law, they can't use the United States law, so use this general nondescript so-called international law and tell you you can't speak on biblical or moral issues. That's what this ultimate agenda is all about. Sure it about. is. Sure it is. And, and to his credit, uh, Scott Lively, who's a hero in my book, uh, he is fearless. Uh, you know, Scripture says that uh, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord. Scott believes that this will ultimately be used for good. It, it already is. I believe that as well. And this has, where it was intended to intimidate and discourage Scott Lively, it has only encouraged and emboldened him. He is only speaking louder and 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 uh, with more conviction about the truth inherent within Scripture about homosexual sin and other uh, forms of sexual immorality. So kudos to Scott Lively. Uh, I'm very proud of him for not being intimidated and bullied by by these these radical extremists. Yeah, this uh, in this lawsuit is uh, claiming compensatory, punitive, and exemplary damages and a declaration that he has been in violation of the law of nations. You know, this is absurd. Where they're wanting to use this nondescript foreign law to take away the individual liberties of a American citizen here for speaking. And and if this lawsuit ultimately is successful, and we will do everything in our power to make it not successful. Uh, that means that every time you get on a plane to go overseas, you got to watch what you say. Whether you're invited to speak there, which is what Scott Lively was, he was invited to speak to different uh, events, and he spoke, and he spoke with grace, but he also spoke on the biblical uh, truth of homosexuality, that it is wrong, and uh, that uh, it can change. You can change by the power of Christ. Uh, that speech ultimately landed him in this lawsuit. So. We're involved in the case. Uh, it's a very expensive uh, case in terms of the amount of hours that we have already put in it, and no doubt we'll continue to put in it. Thank you for your prayers for Scott Lively. Continue to pray for him for clarity and boldness as he stands up against this intimidation, and also for Liberty Council and our legal team, and for the finances also to be able to continue to vigorously defend this case, which we 
certainly our intent to do. Go to Liberty Council's website for more information. You can uh, order some resources there from Dr. Judith Reisman. A Stolen Honor, Stolen Innocence is a book that we publish through our New Revolution publishers, and uh, you can order that right there on Liberty Council's website. Dr. Reisman is one of the world-renowned experts on Kinseyism and the foundation that ultimately gave birth to where we are now in this homosexual agenda. Again, that book is Stolen Honor, Stolen Innocence. Go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org, for that and other resources. You have been listening to Faith and Freedom with Liberty Council. We hope that we have motivated you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedom. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email updates. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.